Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animate. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate this smoke animation in After Effects. So, in the previous lesson, I have shown you guys how to animate this bike rider animation. If you haven't checked yet, go check it out and also the other animations that I have shown in this intro slide. All those animations have its individual tutorials in my channel. So you can check it out. You will get the link in the description. Okay, so let's proceed with the smoke animation. So in the last lesson, we have learned how to animate this bike rider. And in this lesson, we are going to add some smoke animation coming out of this heat pipe. So let's make a new composition, name it smoke. Okay, so let's change the background color of the composition and give it complete black. Let's pick the ellipse tool, make a circle over here. Let's name it smoke. Now turn on the effects and presets panel, type in roughen edges and apply this effect in this layer. Now you can see after applying the effect, the edges got a bit rough and you can even make it even rougher like this. But we are going to go with this 8 value or even slightly increase it to 10. After that, come over here in evolution, press and hold alt and click on it to turn on the expressions panel and type in expression time 1000. Now, if I play the animation, you can see some wiggliness in the edges. All right. After that, let's select this ship and put it over here. Let's scale it down a bit. Okay, now open the position, put a keyframe, open the scale, put a keyframe, press U to open the properties with keyframes. After that, jump on to next 12 frames. We are going to think about the timing later on. If it doesn't look good, we can slow it down later on. Now, select this layer and pull it over here. Let's increase the scale a bit. And after that, we are going to just make the motion path a bit curved or rather we can even make it curve on this side after that let's jump on to again 15 frames and even go further and at this point let's give it scale of zero but at this point let's increase the scale even more Let's easy use the keyframes and let's check it. But for the in-between keyframe, we are going to give it the rowing keyframe. We can slow down the animation a bit. So now we are going to add the loop expression in these keyframes. So we are going to copy this expression and paste it over here as well. After that, let's copy this shape multiple times. Okay, now press U to open the properties with keyframes. Now, we are going to select each of the keyframes and slightly randomize the path of this motion. We can move the mid and the end point a bit to give some randomness to this smoke elements. We are just moving these three keyframe positions and slightly adjusting with the bezier handles.
all right after that we are going to offset these layers ra slightly randomly now bring the layers start at this point okay let's check the animation we are getting some feeling of smoke at this point after that let's select these layers and copy it once again and slightly offset it and let's check it now yeah right now we are getting the fill of this smoke after that if we just copy it once again and just offset it again let's check it now so like this you can animate smoke animation like this you can even make some more randomness with these parts such as if we select this one and bring in the playhead in between this keyframe range and then change it to whatever you want just slightly randomize it and you can get an unique or this kind of random movement in the smoke now if we just copy it once again and paste it over here and slightly randomize it all right so it's looking pretty nice now we are going to go back to this bike animation and select the hit pipe let's solo it for now after that let's select the smoke animation and put it over here and slightly scale it down a bit after that let's parent the heat pipe at this point and just unsolo it and with this our smoke animation is done we can even make some multiple layers of smoke for that simply copy this smoke composition again apply the fill effect and then we are going to change the color and give it some darker shade after that just offset it a bit and like this you can animate a multiple layered smoke as well so like this you can animate the dust animation in this animation as well so the process is pretty similar you just have to make the path animation in a different way and you can get an unique looking smoke animation all right so that is it for this lesson hope you liked it if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye